Hi everyone, it's Ian from Q-Tips. I am creating this video in a response to a message I got with regards to EVAS. So EVAS is no longer supported by the later releases of QGIS. In the earlier versions, I think uh, it's still supported, but it's not supported in the later versions. So how can we view images in a form uh, if we don't have EVAS anymore? And there's a workaround. There's actually a couple workarounds, and I'm going to show you one of those. So I'm going to open up a QGIS project that I've set up for this. But before I do that, let me just show you what I've got here. I've got a folder on my desktop with the uh, the actual QGIS project that I've created. I've got a geo package with a layer for the surf spots in, in, around, in and around Cape Town. And then I've actually got some images for those surf spots, a little logo image as well as some rating images. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. And those are all in an images folder. Okay, so let's open up that QGIS project, and this is what it looks like. Pretty, pretty straightforward. This isn't all the surf spots. This is just a couple of the main ones. So let's have a look at what we can do here. I want to start off by changing this logo. This little red dot doesn't actually suit me, so I want to change that into something that looks more like a surf spot. So I'm going to select my layer that I want to change the um, properties for, or the styling properties for, and then just click on this little open styling panel. Okay, so the layer, st layer styling panel. And then I want to choose a, a little uh, existing icon, which I'm going to borrow some information from, or borrow the settings from. So I'll choose this little one, this little guy in the wheelchair. And the now this is two SVG markers on top of each other. So the, the bottom one I'm going to keep, I quite like that one as a backdrop. But the top one I want to change into that little logo that I showed you in that folder earlier. So I click on the SVG marker choose raster and then I want to browse for that image so I click on this little ellipsis and I'll browse to that folder there it is select wave click open and there we go so now it looks quite nice and that's one of the reasons I like this layer styling panel is because any changes you make whether it's for your your symbology or your label immediately gets rendered and you can see what it's going to look like so for instance if I want to make that slightly darker so this little wave stands out a bit more I can do something like that. See if it was, I wouldn't make it red obviously, but something like that actually works. So I can accept that. I'm happy with that. Next thing I want to do is just label with the name. So I'm going to select the labeling option and then choose single labels. And it defaults to name. I want to draw a text buffer. That works, but I don't like the way all these, all these surf spots are sort of on the west coast. I don't like the way the, the label uh, renders on top of uh, other labels and information. So I want them to actually stick out here into the ocean. So I'm ju just going to change the position of those using the placement option. And then I'll choose offset from point and I'll put it on the left and then maybe just move it a bit further by, by typing a negative value, negative, negative 4. That pushes it out into the ocean. Can go further than that. Negative 10 would be not a good one, probably. Maybe negative 5 works. Negative five. Okay, so that pushes it out into the ocean. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to close that down. Okay, so now the whole point of this is to show you how we can create a form with those images. So let's have a look at the attribute table first of all, and you'll see what it looks like. I've got an FID, a name, and then a little memo just uh, with some specifics about that little spot. I need three new columns. I want to show you how to create a unique or well universal unique identifier and then I also am going to show you how to to create two columns just for those images okay and then we will set it up so the form opens up uh, linking to those images so let's start off by uh, starting an editing session and we will create a new column this one will just be UUID and it can be text and we'll just make it a hundred so there's a unique identifier. Right, so now let's populate this quickly and we'll use the field calculator for that. I'm going to update that field we have just created and I want to type in UUID and then open parentheses, close parentheses and there we go, preview of that unique identifier and then click OK. And you may find this useful if you want to create a unique identifier for any of your features. And it is very unlikely that any of these codes will be repeated. So even if you've got very large databases using this little uh, function you should be guaranteed of a unique identifier for each one of your features okay so the next thing I wanted to do was have a rating 
a rating logo and that'll also be uh, text and let's make it 15 okay and what have we got here we've got a couple of surf breaks the mopoli okay let's start off by editing this one and this one I'm gonna give it a four actually not really I'm gonna give it a three star rating so my three star rating logo is three dot jpg so it's a jpeg three Green Beach also maybe a three I'm just winging it really uh, I might be biased in certain directions uh, the hook is probably five on its day dunes definitely five all day long and Long Beach oops just make sure I put that point in there Long Beach I don't have a two so we'll have to give it a three whoops also you need to put your point in there okay there we go so now we've got some logos this will link to those logos and I'll show you how to do that next next column will be the names of these points and their names are also similarly similarly named uh, to the point so we're going to go this is going to be a photo photo text and I can make it slightly longer I don't think 25 is necessary but it's fine we'll say okay and then these ones are named similarly so let's just I'll borrow that text and then dot jpeg Uh, Glen Beach. Let's just double check how this is is labeled. Um, I generally don't like spaces in in uh, names, so it's possible that they all have, except for that one. Dunes, Long Beach. Okay, no spaces, so it makes sense. See, I'm missing a surf spot there, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so then don't know who we next. Then the hook. I'm actually not sure if this is going to be case sensitive, but if it is, then you'll just need to make sure that you, you choose the right cases for the names and the labels. Last one. Spelling, Long Beach. Okay, so there we go. So I can stop editing and say save and then close that down. Right, so we've just set up the names. The the magic is hasn't happened yet. So I want to be able to use this little um, identify features tool, click on a point, and then click on this option to see the form laid out nicely. So now we can't see these images. Okay, so so I'm going to go and uh, change those settings now in the uh, in the attributes. So let's open up the layer properties. So I'll just double click on surf spots opens up layer properties I want to go to attributes form and I'm going to choose the option which is drag and drop designer and the FID I'm not actually interested in so I'm going to remove that from the form as well as the UUID and then what I'll do is I'll just create a little group and call it surf spot okay and then I'll put all of these in that group and if you had a lot of information here, you could have a couple of groups. And each group will create a tab. And maybe what we can do is let's let's create one called admin. Okay, so now there's admin. And the UUID, we will just drag and drop in there. And then maybe the FID as well. Okay, so now these two are the admin tab. Uh, and we are just going to ignore those for now. Okay, so what did we want to do? We want to, first of all, I think what I'm going to do is change the memo. The memo can stay there maybe, or maybe move the memo to the bottom, rating photo. We might, we might come back and change this order, but this is fine for now. So we can select the rating uh, column or the rating field, and we want to change the widget type to attachment. So just click on widget type and select ta uh, attachment. Change the path names to relative path names and let's go and choose that path name now so I'm just going to go to my desktop there it is there actually choose that one select that folder and then change that to relative to default path I think that should work and then we also need to change 
the type to image and then say apply and we'll do the same for for photo so select photo attachment relative path names find a new path name there it is there relative and then I just want to change that type to to image and there was something else I think I might need to just display resource path just turn that off and then do the same thing for rating we have gone too far and apply okay with any luck um, we should now have a form that renders with those images okay so I'm going to make my surfing spots the the active layer select the identify features icon and then click on any one of these surf spots and let's see if we select the form view there we go okay so there we go we've got our our image for the rating and our image for the actual surf spot that comes through and if you don't like the setup you can change it around a bit maybe we could put the the memo about the actual surf spot higher up um, but then there's also the admin tab that we created for the uh, FID and the UUID so you could create a, a, any number of uh, groups that would create tabs here so it's a quite nice it is a nice way to view those those um, images so it's it's similar to to how it might display or how it was displaying in EVAs I haven't got a, uh, a direction a photo direction uh, image so that is that is the only thing I guess but if we if we go through this whoa that one's probably there's probably a naming issue here that's why the one hasn't come through I've maybe spelt it wrong or something to that effect but most of them seem to have come through okay and the hook as well is that the one that was was causing an issue no okay all right so so let's just quickly have a look at, at what what would what would happen if you just change this round a bit if you went back into surf spots properties and then into surf spot we can maybe put the memo at the top let's say under name and then the rating under photo I don't know how this would affect things let's see apply that and then click on thermopylae okay so there we go we've got we've got the rating at the bottom now the memo at the top and then the photograph in the middle so that kind of works so hopefully that um, that will solve some of your issues if you if you were looking to use an, the something like the EVAS plugin um, yeah hopefully that works for you okay till next time cheers <laughs>